Among the great diversity of animals on our planet, butterflies stand out as some of the most enchanting and colourful creatures. These delicate insects flutter through our gardens and wild spaces, captivating us with their vivid wings and graceful movements. Today, we're going to dive into the world of butterflies, exploring their unique characteristics, remarkable life cycle, and the vital role they play in our ecosystems. Get ready to be amazed by the beauty and complexity of these fascinating insects as we uncover everything there is to know about butterflies. What are butterflies? Butterflies are colourful, flying insects that belong to the order Lepidoptera, which they share with moths. As insects, butterflies have six legs, three body parts, a head, thorax and abdomen, two antennae and compound eyes. What makes butterflies unique among insects are their two pairs of wings which are attached to the thorax, the forewings and the hindwings. These vibrant wings are covered with tiny scales that reflect light in various colours. There are about 18,000 species of butterflies found worldwide. From the cold Arctic tundra to the steamy tropical rainforests. The sizes of butterflies vary significantly. Some have wingspans of just one to two centimetres. Whereas others, like the majestic Queen Alexandra's birdwing, can boast a wingspan up to nearly 30 centimetres across. Butterflies come in a breathtaking variety of colours and patterns. This range in appearance isn't just for beauty, it also serves practical purposes such as camouflage, mating and warning predators of their toxicity. For instance, the monarch butterfly is famous for its striking orange and black wings that signal to birds and other predators that it is toxic if eaten. The blue morpho's brilliant blue wings help it blend into the patches of sky visible through the treetops, hiding it from predators. Adult butterflies feed mostly on nectar from flowers, using their specially adapted mouthparts, the proboscis, to drink these sweet fluids. This diet is not only vital for their survival, providing them with essential energy, but also places butterflies as crucial participants in their ecosystems as pollinators. As they move from flower to flower in search of nectar, they inadvertently carry pollen on their bodies, facilitating the pollination process necessary for the reproduction of flowering plants. Habitat and distribution. Butterflies are remarkably adaptable and can be found in nearly every habitat on Earth, ranging from dense tropical rainforests to arid deserts and high alpine meadows. In fact, they can be found on every continent except Antarctica, where it's simply too cold year round. Each species has specific habitat requirements that include the availability of certain host plants for their young to eat, suitable weather conditions and appropriate shelter. In the lush, moist environments of tropical rainforests, butterflies are particularly abundant. These areas offer a year-round supply of nectar and a variety of host plants for caterpillars. Species such as the brilliant blue morpho and the diverse heliconius butterflies thrive in these dense jungles. 
temperate forests across North America, Europe and Asia also support a wide variety of butterflies, like the well-known monarch and the colourful peacock butterfly. These species often migrate considerable distances to exploit seasonal changes in their environment. In open habitats like grasslands and meadows, butterflies such as the painted lady and various swallowtails are common. These environments offer abundant grasses and flowers that cater to the needs of many butterfly species during their adult and larval stages. Even in the harsh conditions of deserts, certain butterflies have adapted to survive. The desert swallowtail, for instance, can be found in arid regions where its young feed on drought-resistant plants like thistles. High-altitude environments host unique species like the Apollo butterfly in Europe's Alps or the Mountain Blue butterfly in Australia. These species are adapted to cold temperatures and often have a shorter breeding season, making the most of the brief summer months. Butterflies can also thrive in suburban and urban areas where gardens, parks and other green spaces provide necessary resources. The cabbage white is often seen fluttering around vegetable gardens where its young feed on vegetables. Butterfly life cycle. One of the most fascinating aspects of butterfly biology is their life cycle, which includes a process known as complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis refers to a total transformation in body form, allowing the animal to transition through several distinctly different stages during its development. This process includes four distinct stages. Egg, larva, also called the caterpillar stage, pupa, or chrysalis stage, and adult. each of which looks completely different and serves a unique purpose in the development of the butterfly. This transformation is not only intriguing, but also serves as a vivid example of how nature allows organisms to maximize survival and adaptability through distinct life stages. Let's use the monarch butterfly to take a closer look at this remarkable life cycle egg. The life of a monarch butterfly begins when the female lays tiny pinhead-sized eggs, usually on the underside of milkweed leaves. The choice of the milkweed plant is crucial because it will serve as the food source for the hatching caterpillars. The eggs are often laid singly to reduce competition for resources among the larvae. Larva. Once the eggs hatch, the larva, or caterpillar, emerges. Monarch caterpillars are easily recognisable by their distinctive stripes of yellow, black and white bands. Their primary goal at this stage is to eat and grow. Starting with the very egg case they hatched from, they then begin feeding almost continuously on the leaves of the milkweed plant, which serves as both their nursery and their main food source. This growth phase is critical as it allows the caterpillar to accumulate the energy and mass necessary for its next transformation. Pupa. After accumulating enough mass, the caterpillar forms itself into a pupa, also known as a chrysalis. The monarch's chrysalis is a striking jade green colour decorated with gold dots. During this stage, the caterpillar undergoes the remarkable transformation known as metamorphosis. 
Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar's body completely rearranges. This process takes about 10 to 14 days for monarchs, and when ready, it breaks out of its chrysalis and emerges as an adult, almost like magic. This critical phase allows the once earthbound caterpillar to become a beautiful flying butterfly. Adult. The final stage is the adult butterfly. The adult butterfly's main roles are to reproduce and to spread the species. Adults seek out partners to mate with and females lay their eggs on appropriate host plants, starting the life cycle anew. This life cycle is not only a spectacle of nature's ingenuity, but also a critical process for the survival of the butterfly species. Okay, let's try a quick quiz to see what you've learned about butterflies. The quiz consists of 10 questions. Don't forget to subscribe!